J1407b is an object with a very complicated history. Once thought to be a super Saturn with rings 200 times bigger than Saturn's, it turned out to likely be a rogue brown dwarf surrounded by a protoplanetary disk where new planets are actively forming. I've made a video all about this called Why Did Everyone Fall for the J1407b Myth if you want to know more, but all you need to know for this video is that J1407b isn't a super Saturn, as it's likely not a planet and doesn't have rings, instead being a young brown dwarf system in the process of forming, which is pretty interesting on its own. But J1407b has always remained unique. We only found it because it passed in front of the young star V1400 Centauri, which caused the star to seem to dim, which our telescopes could see. This is also how we know J1407b had a protoplanetary disk, and why some people used to think it had rings before it was found to be a young brown dwarf system. This is an extremely unlikely event, as rogue objects don't usually pass that close to stars. So, not many people expected to see an object like J1407b again. Until recently, that is, because we just found two more. And the two new J1407b replacements are even stranger than J1407b itself. The two studies, which I'll link in the description, were recently published, showing new evidence for new J1407b-like objects, which the rest of this video I'll be calling J1407b analogs. The first one looked at the star Gaia 21 BCV, a young K-type star about 40 million years old. The second one looked at several stars, most notable of which being Assassin 21 JS, a B-type star likely around 100 million years old and four times bigger than the Sun. Both of these stars, Gaia 21 BCV being smaller than the Sun and Assassin 21 JS being bigger, showed eclipses similar to the transit of J1407b over V1400 Centauri. There are also a few other stars mentioned in the studies, like VVV WIT-08, but these two seem to be the most interesting and showed the strongest evidence that J1407b analogs exist around them. For comparison, V1400 Sen is about the same size as the Sun, so this is a pretty diverse array of stars. They all have one thing in common though, they're young. None of them are over 100 million years old, and they're all still in the process of forming planets. This is why we're finding J1407b analogs around them, as if the stars haven't finished forming, then the brown dwarfs that form near them also likely haven't either. So what are these two new J1407b analogs like? The first one, around Gaia 21 BCV, which I'll be calling Gaia 21 BCV B, transited in front of its star and caused an eclipse that lasted 876 days, which indicates two things. It's big and was moving very slowly. The eclipse suggests it was only moving at about 2 kilometers a second, which is slow in astronomical terms. This also suggests one important thing. Unlike J1407b, which was estimated to be moving at 35 kilometers per second, Gaia 21 BCBB is likely orbiting Gaia 21 BCV, instead of being a rogue object not orbiting any star like J1407b. This long transit suggests the object orbits its star at nearly 225 astronomical units away, about 7.5 times further out than Neptune orbits the Sun, on an orbit that takes 3,375 Earth years to complete. For comparison, J1407b passed within just 5 AU of V1400 Centauri during its closest approach. I should also mention that the images I'm showing on screen aren't accurate to what this place actually looks like. I was trying to make custom planets for this video, but Space Engine isn't cooperating. In reality, these rings don't glow and likely have a different structure than what I'm showing. While the mass of Gaia 21 BCVB is unknown, we do have an idea of the size of the ring system around it. The length of its eclipse suggests it as a protoplanetary disk or ring system like J1407b's that extends out for about 1 AU, or the distance between Earth and the Sun. For comparison, J1407b's protoplanetary disk, which was once thought to be a ring system, is about 0.6 AU across, meaning Gaia 21 BCVB has a far bigger disk of material around it than J1407b. This suggests this object is large, and most likely a brown dwarf like J1407b. 1 AU of material is also plenty of space for planets to be forming, and while no evidence of planets orbiting Gaia 21 BCVB was found, that doesn't mean they don't exist. They could have been too small to be detected, and with that amount of material, the chances for planets forming around this object is high. Of course, all of that pales in comparison to the second J1407b analog, Assassin 21 JSB. Assassin 21 JSB, from what the initial observations show, is Gaia 21 BCVB turned up to 11. Its transit in front of its star is still actively occurring as of the time of making this video, and it's only expected to end in May 2027. Its eclipse in front of its star has already lasted multiple years, and will continue for three more. This means it's not only much further out, and therefore slower, but much bigger than Gaia 21 BCVB. And that's exactly what the data suggests, with this object having a speed of just 0.7 kilometers per second, and an orbit of at least 11,000 astronomical units away from its star, or the distance from the Sun to the inner Oort cloud. 
Due to this, this object takes somewhere over 610,000 years to complete a full orbit, and if it's confirmed to be planetary mass, it would make it the furthest planet away from its star we've ever discovered. And as I mentioned previously, its star is a B-type, which are big, hot, and die young. So even the star is more extreme than Gaia 21 BCVBs. Despite being only 100 million years old, the star is already one-third through its main sequence phase, and will become a red giant in just 200 million years. For comparison, our solar system is 4.5 billion years old, a whole 45 times older than Assassin 21 JS. But if that wasn't enough, Assassin 21 JSB's disk of material is over two times wider than Gaia 21 BCVB's, and over three times larger than J1407B's. It has an estimated size of 2.1 astronomical units across, more than the distance between the Sun and Mars. The transit also suggests that Assassin 21 JSB's protoplanetary disk is split into two separate rings separated by large gaps, similar to the gaps seen in J1407B's disk. Because of the transit, we also have an idea as to the general structure of these rings, the inner ring being 0.11 AU wide and the outer one being 0.28. The images I'm showing on screen aren't accurate to what the disk actually looks like, because I cannot for the life of me get Space Engine to cooperate, so just be aware that in reality, the rings are much more spaced out and not glowing. For now, here's an artist's impression of the object made by Arbidox to more accurately show what the structure of the disk is. The inner ring is much smaller and fainter than the outer one, but be aware that both of them are tens of millions of miles wide. Assassin 21 JSB seems to be an extreme version of J1407b. It's bigger, older, orbits a larger, hotter star, and has a larger protoplanetary disk and more opportunities for planets to form around it. Unfortunately, our opportunities to further study these objects are limited. J1407b is about 440 light years away from Earth, but Gaia 21 BCV is over 4,500 light years away, and Assassin 21 JS is a whopping 9,100. Studying objects this far away is an immense challenge, and it's a miracle we even detected them at all. Gaia 21 BCVB's transit has already ended, and so has our opportunity to see it again. Because its orbit is over 3,000 years long, we won't see it again for at least another 3,000 years. Assassin 21 JSB's orbit is even longer, but its transit is still going on, and we only have three more years to make observations over it before it stops transiting and we never see it again, for hundreds of thousands of years as it passes behind its star from our perspective. But what little we do know about these objects has already been amazing. We now know that J1407b is not a unique event, and there are other objects like it in the universe. There were several other stars mentioned in these studies, but these two had the highest amount of confidence that what was seen was actually a substellar object with a protoplanetary disk like J1407b. But additional observations of more young stars will hopefully reveal more elusive J1407b analogs hiding in the galaxy. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out my other videos about exoplanets and space colonization.